Okay, children, um, this uh, page on your reader's notebook is page 334. Okay, it's about prepositions. Okay, this is not the first time we have worked with this type of words. Okay, it's a review. Okay, so let's go ahead and start reading what's inside the box. Prepositions are words that relate a noun or pronoun called the object of the preposition to the other words in a sentence. Most prepositions tell where things are in time and space. Okay, so this is very important right here because we can use this sentence to figure out which word in the sentence is considered the preposition. Okay, the words that tell where things are in time and space. Okay, where things are in time, past, present, or future, and space, location. Okay, example, the book was below the table. Okay, in this case, the word below is a preposition because it tells, it relates where to the location where the book is, okay, below the table. So that's why we underline the word below because it's a preposition, okay? Next example, John showed up after the horses were fed, okay? Which word do you think it's the preposition? Which word tells where? things are in time and space. John showed up after the horses were fed. Okay, which word's the preposition? After is a preposition because it's it tells us, okay, when John showed up. Okay, he showed up after he fed the horses. Okay, and then we have prepositional phrases. Prepositional phrases are phrases that begin with a preposition and end with a noun or pronoun that is the object of the preposition. Okay. Example, the book was below the table. So below the table is considered the prepositional phrase because it starts with a preposition below and it ends with a noun, table. Okay. Second example, John showed up after the horses were fed. So after the horses is a prepositional phrase because it starts with a preposition and it ends with a noun. Okay, we should not circle the entire second part of this sentence because fed is a verb. And a prepositional phrase ends with a noun or pronoun. It doesn't say anything about ending with a verb. So that's why we are not under, I mean, are not circling word fed as part of the prepositional phrase. Okay, so uh, we need to do two things uh, with these sentences. The first thing that we need to do is to underline all the prepositions in each sentence. Okay, and then circle the prepositional phrases. All right, so let's look at number one. Okay, number one says, Luke rode his horse across the prairie with his friends, with his friend Maria. Okay, so which one do you think it's the preposition in this sentence or prepositions? Okay. If this is too hard for you, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add this list of prepositions, okay? It's in ABC order, okay? So you might wanna look at this while you are working on your reader's notebook, okay? So if you notice right here, okay, maybe if you're thinking that um, probably the word um, across, Okay, because look is a noun, road is a verb, his is a pronoun, horse is a noun, but what about this word? Is it an adjective, an adverb, a preposition, an article? I don't know. So I'm having my doubts. I'm thinking about this word. So when you are doing that, you can go back to this list and find see if across is right here a board about above according to across oh 
It's right here. So yes, it's a preposition. So we underline it. Okay, we underline it. Okay, let's see if we have more prepositions. Okay, the is an article. Prairie is a noun. Okay, with, mm, I don't know if with, okay, if, uh, if with it's an article, an adverb, an adjective. His is a pronoun. Friend is a noun. And Maria is a proper noun because it's capitalized, of course, and it's the name of the person. But what about with? I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe with is a preposition. Okay, so we can go back to our list and find with. Okay, this is in ABC order, so I should, okay, sorry, I should go almost at the very end of my list with. Oh, it's right here, with. Okay, so yes, it's a preposition. Okay, so we underline it with. Okay. Now, the second part of the instruction say to circle the prepositional phrases. Remember that prepositional phrases begin with a preposition and end with a noun or pronoun. So across is a preposition, and I'm going to stop in prairie because prairie is a noun. Okay, so I circle those three words. Okay, and then the next prepositional phrase starts with with. And it ends with a proper noun, in this case, Maria, okay, friend Maria, all right? So again, two things. First thing, underline all the prepositions in each sentence and then circle the prepositional phrase, okay? Don't forget that you can use this list right here to help you figure out which words in the sentences are prepositions. Okay, I am going to upload this to Google Classroom as part of your assignment for grammar so that you can pull it up and look at it either in your cell phone or on your computer while you are working on your reader's notebook on page 334. Okay, don't forget to turn in your work when you finish. Okay, see you on the next video.